Hey guys, what is up? Cypra here, and welcome to my top 10 plays of the 2018 Boston Major. Do you want to find out who hits the number one spot? Keep watching to find out. In at number 10, during the semi finals where FaZe face off Navi, Nico throws down a well placed Molotov, which ends up killing Electronic. Ball continues, aiming for apartments once they get banana, but Electronic is burning here! And down he goes, Nico just watches him go down and has a nade in his hand. During the grand finals where C9 face off FaZe on Mirage, Skadoodle decides to make bank and pushes forward as CT to pick up a nice 4k. Scar is up close here with the MP9, he could be in for quite the money making mission, he's going to just grind them all down with the MP9. Money in the bank for Skadoodle! Going back to the semi-finals with FaZe vs Na'Vi, Carrigan holds a nice angle and gets a 3k putting Na'Vi in a 1 vs 3 situation. Great, it shouldn't be a problem for him, although he gets traded out immediately, that's beneficial, because now it opens up the pit side, Kerrigan will shut it all down though, because at the mid wall there's no- On day one, where Vega squadron face off Renegades, Cassandra takes down three enemies while blinded by a flashbang. It's quite a bit comfort, isn't it, just playing with that AWP, he's not now, but in the previous rounds. Yeah, it'll be a very nice tool to have, even blind, oh my god, the second one as well, completely blind and pulls out the USP. <laughs> A little bit of luck on his side, but he makes it look good. During the quarterfinals, where SK Gaming face off Fnatic, Fallen gets a disgusting kill on Flusher down Banana. Fallen still on the sniper rifle. Very important stuff. Oh! That is okay. absolutely disgusting. All right, Fallen, Fallen's going back to day one. Vega Squadron face off Renegades, and JR throws a well placed Molotov forcing Nifty and Naf to both peek together, and he gets a collateral double kill. We're going to be the next thing coming in, he's putting out one Molotov. Oh, there's two for one instead, as Nifty and Naf go down in mid with the backup. Well During the quarterfinals, SK Game and face off Fnatic, and both Flusher and Golden coordinate a double nade, which ends up killing Fallen. They're operating here with UMPs, <laughs> and so this allows Fnatic to use those players to be the, the entry fraggers to get the information, and also to drop the nukes, the ICBMs, onto Fallen in this instance. Yeah, this scoreline is actually getting a little bit out of hand. SK is surely sweating a bit here. I mean, looking at the entire series as a whole. Who'd have thought the Deagle could outdo rifles? Well, during the quarterfinals where SK Gaming are still up against Fnatic, Lecro takes down Cold Zero, Taco, and Phelps with just the Deagle. Always at least one round of match where he would do an incredible Deagle clutch in a moment such as this. Brilliant Ooh. second shot, but the third one as well. Just patient, calm, precision. Lecro is an assassin. During the grand final, where Cloud9 take on FaZe, Stewie pulls out some fantastic orb kills, taking the game into overtime. But look at the time! Look at the time! There's seven seconds to go the bomb! They're trying to build pyramids, but there's no more play! Stewie's oh! won the round! We go to overtime! In my opinion, retaking a site isn't easy, let alone with an orb but Guardian makes it look so easy during the Grand Finals. Guardian's watching the cross to Sean. That's information they know. Say, oh, Nico goes down straight away. That was maybe the only chance, but Guardian comes back in. Oh, Guardian, he gets two. There's still more to go, though. Cloudline must plant the bomb. The peaks come in, but Guardian will not stop. One more to go, and Guardian gets them all. While picking a top 10 isn't easy, I was able to select my top 10 from the Boston Major. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and if you want to see more videos from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.